All right, so this is Eldritch Song, and I'm here with the 4322, and I've got Pasta with me. Hey, folks. All right, so what do you see here, Pasta? <laughs> I see a lot of effect and a contagion class. Um, I don't know. I kind of like going with the class over the infect. Yeah, you, if there's a lot of infect, you don't want to grab that. We can just try the Furnace Celebration deck. You want to try that? Um, class was too powerful to pass. Okay. Yeah, I guess if we're going to try to win this one, we might as well just go with what we know works. <laughs> All right. Um, I see. I guess Glint Hawk works well with the Contagion class. There's also more Infect, Arbalest. Yeah. Personally, I, I like the Glint Hawk here. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I mean, there are some decent cards in here, but um, yeah, we're just going to keep passing Infect, I guess, and go with the, the Glint Hawk and see where we go from there. I kind of like, haven't played with white for a while, and that's my color anyway, so. Alright, so I think that was a pretty good choice. Well, I guess it's between Glimmer Point Stag and Grasp would be the two uh, choices I see. I like Glimmer Point here. I mean, <laughs> Grasp is good, but if we're going to try to go white, let's cut it. Yep, and also works both in Pigeon Class Bossa. So we got kind of a two-for-one thing going on there. Yep. Glimmer Point is like one of my favorite cards in the set, so... Uh, <clears throat> we could try to go, like, white-blue and take Dark Slick Drake. Yeah, in this pack, that's that's what's sticking out to me, is the Dark Slick Drake. If we go blue or not, we'll see, but if we don't go blue, I'd still want to... I guess it'd be Replica, yeah. but Dark Slick Drake is just good stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good, so we'll go ahead and try that one out. And plus, it's foily. It's got to count for something. Alright. So, I don't see that much. I mean, Kimba Skyguard's pretty good. Origin Spellbomb, Sultan, Surtarch. Here, yeah, there's there's not a lot, but <clears throat> I like the Skyguard with uh, the, uh, another target for stack. one more point, if yeah. need be. And Surtarch and Sultan, and even Spellball are not that hard to pick up. They might as well cut off white, like you said earlier. Alright, so another Grasp. Obviously, it's pretty good. Um, and Clone Shell, I guess, would be like the, the cards that I'm seeing. Man, yeah. Um... <clears throat> And I don't think Dark Slug Drake is so good that we want to pass a Grasp to stay in blue. No. Yeah, I, I think we have to take the Grasp here. We're not committed to blue at all. The saying that, only, only cards we get passed worth picking up here are blue. It's a maybe <laughs> yeah. the opinions, perhaps. Um, Strider Harns isn't too bad either, but... <clears throat> hmm. I'm I'm liking the replica. Yeah, the replica seems like the pick here. And we can always splash replica. I guess we really want to play it for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> you never know. Um, All right. It's one of the two replicas. I mean, I guess what we know we're gonna play would be like the Ariok replica. But that's not a very good one, I don't think. Just in my opinion, the Volshock is so much better. I like taking the Volshock over it. If if we end up dedicated white, we'll, we can pick up an Oriac at some point. In I'm pretty sure. Yep. We don't have a second color yet. Alright, so Riddle Smith <clears throat> is really good. Uh, Salvage Scout could be good. Yeah, but we tabled that inexorable tight. That's got to be a signal, right? <laughs> yeah, nobody's playing crappy cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Riddle Smith. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Alright, so Ariok Edgerite is a pretty good card, even though we're not exactly Metalcraft yet. Yep. But I think it's better than picking up the Silk Claw. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and the card is pretty good, and the fact that it went so late, maybe that's a signal that White's open. Well, well we cut it pretty hard. Yep, yeah, that is true. So we could go with the old Golden Foundry deck. Or just pick up I don't, this Wayfair. I don't know that we'll be playing the Golden Foundry deck, but I think that's actually the pick here. Yeah. I actually have played against the Golden Foundry deck, and it's not too bad. Alright, I kind of like proliferating, but I guess the archer is annoying for us to, to, to cut that off. Uh, I like steady progress, just in case. So it looks like we're going to be blue. We can proliferate our Gallant Foundry. Alright, so here's a Sun Chaser. Mm, a beast. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty interesting first pack. I'm gonna need to open up a Vinzer. Or a Sunblast Angel. That will be quite good. <laughs> Alright, so Sunblast Angel is the pick. Uh, Pladium Mirror, Thurming Bird, Sky Eel, pretty nice. Could wheel, who knows. Maybe the, probably the Sky Eel will wheel in a Stoker bubble, probably. But, hmm. Sunblast it is. <clears throat> it's always nice to open up a rare in your color. Get a bomb rare. Yeah, that's not an extra tide. Wow. Look at that. True Beauty. conviction. Looks like we're gonna slam that one. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good cards in this pack, but Yeah, I mean look at all these there's like a you know, Ember Smith, Slice and Twain, Silver Replica, Perilous Mirror, Idol, Amir. This pack is loaded. What do you think we're going to wheel out of this? Um, possibly Still Infection, Volship Replica, the Surtarch, the Hellion, maybe the Idol, but, or the Mirror, possibly. Maybe even the Reaver, but I don't think, like, this is definitely going to get picked. Like, these three in the Replica are going to go. So we could see, you know, I hope, I'd like to see the Idol or the Mirror. Preferably. If we see the, the idol, I'll be quite happy. Okay. So, another replica or quarter shield. Hmm, there's also an Invisimancer, which is not too good. Are you I like Invisimancer, but not this early. Yeah. Um, the replica? Yeah, I kind of like the replica. I mean, it, it works with the Sunblast Angel number point, and it's another artifact. And it's a creature that's good against poison. All right, well, speaking of glimmer point, boom. We definitely cut white real hard. Too bad that we're going to pass a dispense justice, but maybe we'll wheel it. I don't think so, but I mean, if we were playing white, if we really did cut off white that hard, it's possible we could get it back. But yeah, glimmer point sag is just so good. Uh oh, the best rare, painful quandary. All right, that so, can actually be a beating. Yeah, I can see how it might be if you're. I don't know if you had the right. You built around it, I guess. But that's not our pick. <laughs> yeah, I see Sky Eel, Mirror. Yeah, between those two, I think. Uh, I don't know. I kind of think the Mirror might be the pick. I think Sky Eel is yeah. probably easier to, easier to get than a Mirror. Yep. Alright, so here's a Trigon of Thought or a Sun Spear Shikari. We have no equipment 
whatsoever. Yeah. I kind of like the Trigon. Especially after the last draft we played when we were black blue and the Trigon came in handy a lot of times. Yeah, I like the Trigon here. And look, our first five drop. Alright, so this is an interesting one. We can go with another Skyguard, or we could pick up a Mirror, or we can go with a Golden Urn or a Tangle Cord. Um, I think it's gotta be the Skyguard. Yeah, I like the Skyguard. I mean, We've got dump, double stag now, too. Yeah, double stag. It's better than we're gonna pass that mirror. It looks like we're gonna have to, like, take out, like, the, maybe the Edge Rite won't make it. Uh, and the Sun Chaser probably will have to stay out, but who knows. Yeah. Alright, so... I'm just seeing Sun Spear Shikari again and Liquid Metal Building. Sun Spear is probably the... I mean, I guess no reason not to take that. I don't know. We don't have like you're right. We don't have any equipment. I'm not sure how heavy your equipment our deck's gonna be anyway. Um, what? How do you feel about the cool model coding that that could turn on us playing an Oriox Sun Chaser or a uh, Edge Right? Yeah, it's an or a revoke a revoke existence if we pick one up. Yeah, I like. I think it has a lot more applications than a Sun Spear will. All right, so here's a Stoic Rebuttal. That's not too bad. And that was like the only card in the pack worth taking anyway. Yeah. Alright, so we can either take a mirror, an off color mirror, or just cut off like a replica. I don't know, I kinda like taking the mirror, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. We're not we're not too worried about artifact destruction. Yeah. But I'm surprised that replica's that late. Alright, so nothing here at all. Uh I'll take this island. Let somebody else take the bad cards. Take the Faravore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There, There's a furnace celebration running around. That's true. Alright, I like the Wayfarer here. In case we want to side it against poison. And I do need more forests, so... If we get wrecked by that clumber post, so help me. <laughs> yeah, the game comes down to like the last minute, and they're at one life, and they play the gunner <laughs> post, and they live, and we lose. I just broke it down for you. All right. Well. Mm. So yeah, I think that, we're gonna have to. Take that's tough. Stratoscythe is a bomb. But then it's, again, I think it's, it's gotta be Hippogriff. The Hippogriff with the two glimmer points just seems too sick to pass. Ugh. It, we've, we've gotta take the Hippogriff. Yeah. That's too bad, though. That is too bad. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, hindsight, right? Hmm, yes. So, I guess Hippogriff again. Um. Or we could take a mirror. I think we... I like Peril this mirror. We've already got it. Look at our... Our mana curve. Yeah, the mana curve doesn't look that, that awesome. Yeah, I like Peril this mirror. It's possible that... I mean, I guess I don't know. Who else is playing white? And who else is playing blue? Ooh, Volition means he and Rust kick. And Trigon of Corruption. Jeez. Why do, why do these packs have to keep giving us really expensive cards we want to play? Yeah. I don't really see Volition Reigns being that good, to be honest. I mean, my problem with Volition Reigns is that they don't... You know, you don't always have the card in your hand when they play a big bomb, so most of the time you just steal one of their really kind of crappy cards. 